unplanned recording from my lady. But um, when we showed up, there's actually a lot of people there. And there's like two warm up rooms. There's a lot of fucking people there. And something I noticed that, well, that I noticed now, uh, that my lady pointed out, my girl, uh, a lot of these people showed up with like a crew, like friends or family and a coach. Like, see, there, that was kind of ugly. Uh, yeah, it's kind of ugly. Uh, friends, family, or a coach, but I didn't. I didn't have anybody. I just. I just had my girlfriend. Um, I didn't even know she was recording right there. But the reason why it was kind of empty right here is because there was already a, a team. The flight A was going. I was flight B, and then there's flight C. And uh, but here's my first attempt. I think it's 490, something like that. I'm shaking hard. But it was great. Just was this this this. Yeah, I'm shaking. It's looking alright. But it was great. I mean, I, I just had a lot of fun. This is five. I think this is five twenty-five. And uh, yeah, I'm shaking pretty got bad it. there. It's just you got to think about it. It's the bar feels different. The weight, the squat rack. You don't have that mirror. I mean, whenever I'm working out year round or for my competition i don't look at the mirror i mean even when i work out at 24 hour i'm not looking at the mirror uh you have to just squat to your you have to squat to your just what your body feels uh and this is 551 uh so if you remember october i hurt myself doing 545 i hurt myself but so not only did i lift something heavier I did 551, like, that was heavier than my old PR at the gym, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Joe was telling me I should probably stop at 535, but I was feeling good, feeling really good. And this guy right here, Brandon, man, he was like a huge lifesaver. I mean, him and my girl were just major support. It was just unbelievable. I mean, this guy fucking just was telling me, hey, you should warm up now. Uh, this should be your last warm up. Just like coaching me, really. You know, he'd done seven meets. This right here is 325, I believe. Yeah, 325. And uh, the, the up and down commands, all that shit. You gotta, so, but yeah, Brandon, that guy's name is Brandon. Man, I really appreciated that guy. Like, seriously. Um, my guy that helped me out last time, Chris, like my mentor coach. He wasn't able to make it out. So this is 358. So I felt this twice in my last meet. So this is really important that I got it. Boom, 358. Nice. Um, and this is 375. Um, my gym PR is 370. So three, 375 was a little bold, a little courageous. But it didn't count because if you see right, it goes down, it falls, but then I end up getting it. But as far as standards and knee procedures go, I did not get it. So my highest bench was 358, but I'm going to have to come back for that 375. You can have all the fucking strength in the world, but your technique. So this is 515. And it didn't count as my very first deadlift attempt. Uh, I, thought, I thought I was waiting for a command, but it's on me. But uh, I got 515. I didn't, boom, I didn't shoot my hips forward enough. So I got red lighted. It didn't count. And so then I was like, all right, motherfucker. See the guy sitting in the back? There's two guys sitting. The guy on the far right, he's the judge. Fucking ass red lighted me. It's all good, though. This is four, no, five. I think it's 525. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Oh no, this is 545. Yeah, this is a really ugly 545. So, uh, my last meet, I got 540. 545 was like a meet PR. And then there's a guy that was kind of close to beating me. So, this is 562. <laughs> ugly, but it counted. Um, <laughs> so, and then this is just me kind of at the. But my awards, they're about 
to give me my award and whatnot. But uh, but yeah, you know, it, it um, I fucked up on that bench, but I could have almost lost because I uh, I went too high on my gym attempt, my 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 bench attempt. But uh, it was really fun. Like I I didn't have friends there. Of course, I didn't have no family there. It's all good though. But I had my girlfriend there. I had luckily Brandon. That guy he had, he got second place. He had a mean ass deadlift. And um. So we got into San Antonio at 1, probably in bed by 1.30. I got like shit sleep going into my meet Saturday, but that was the same case with my last meet. So I didn't really try to let that affect me, which is going to affect your body, of course. Um, and even that night, I was I woke up like at 3, 5, 6, 7, and I just couldn't go to sleep. I was afraid I was going to oversleep. But, um, yeah, and that was just chill. I mean, it was really fun. At one point, I thought I was going to compete with a professional athlete, but he didn't show up. So that's cool. But other than that, it was, it was really fun. I mean, probably gonna be my last year of powerlifting. Um, if I would have gotten that bench, I would have had like a 1488 total. With so when you add up my bench, squat, and deadlift, my total is 1488. So I think to go to nationals, like national level, you have to have a 1600. I'm at a 1488. Like. Maybe in the next year, if I kept it up, I could get a 1500. But even then, like I'm still at another whole thousand pounds off. <sighs> so that's why I'd be stopping uh, powerlifting. But uh, other than that, I mean, I definitely want to give a shout out. Like I said, my girlfriend, like I had my last meet, I had shit everywhere. This meet, I had all my shit fucking organized. She took care of me. I was awesome to have her emotional support there and just everything you know, that a significant other provides, so that was fucking a blessing, and then Brandon, that guy, the Asian dude, super cool, um, yeah, fucking, I really appreciate him, and then, like, my everyday, just kind of mentor, uh, my boy Joe, you know, we'll talk, we're like, we'll talk about working out every single day, about, like, oh, set three, rep four could have been better, oh, set this rep that reps this and this so we're he, we're always kind of helping each other out and he's really helped me out i feel like more than i'm probably helping him out smart motherfucker he doesn't really need much more of my help but uh so yeah joe it's been a huge help and even then like he told me the day of like hey these are the numbers you should do based on like your progress through all these weeks you should do this and that open at this attempt to do this so that was really helpful. And then my friend Chris, the guy who went with me last time, you know, just doing some like out of the gym preparation as far as nutrition, uh, just kind of mindset stuff, you know, the deadlift shoes, uh, the slingshot shoes. So it was my second time wearing them. They're really cool. But all in all, there's my performance wasn't, a, yeah, I'm doing the reps and sets at the gym. But, like, there's no way I could have done this by myself. Like, I had a group of people that helped me out. And it's just, just for me, it's just awesome. Like, it is, I couldn't have done it, you know, without them, without y'all. So, really thankful, really happy. My face is looking rough. I got uh, like all that lifting. I had all these blood rushes popping up. But really fun experience. Uh, I'm not going to post, like, a paragraph-long thing on Instagram. So, I felt like I'd make a YouTube video. If I haven't said it already, yes, I did win. 90 kilogram weight class, first place. Check it out. So this is my, this is my, actually my, from the one from May of 2022. Uh, they gave me the same one. But I actually gave the one I won on September 10th. Gave it to my girlfriend because it was, it was actually her birthday. So she put all this stuff aside. She did all these sacrifices to come out to San Antonio be in my competition and she's like the only thing i want is that medal so it's like all right bet so uh yeah 
yeah, I gave her, gave her the medal. And, uh, of course, other things she wanted for her birthday, she can't really speak of. But, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Yeah, major shout out to her, for sure, for, for coming out on her birthday. I mean, who wants to watch just a bunch of guys lift? So, I appreciate that, for sure. There's nine people in my class, uh, 198 pounds. Even with my clothes on, I weighed 88.8 kilograms. With so I think with my clothes on, I still weighed in at 195, which is in the afternoon. So if I weighed in in the morning, maybe I was weighing in at 192. I'm not sure. Oh fucking well, but yeah, my weight class is 198. Yeah, and I won. So ah uh, yeah, it was great. It was great. So. I'm just, it was a blast, it was a blast, so I appreciate everybody watching, um, I didn't want to make this drawn out like I did my first video, so I'm just trying to keep it short, so I appreciate everybody fucking with me, watch my videos, um, like, comment, subscribe, I appreciate it, uh, if there's any questions, definitely love to answer them, looking forward to getting into some interviewing with some people. I know I talk about that all the time, but definitely want to get back into that. And other than that, just maybe one more this year, maybe end of November or sometime in December. And I'm going to hang up the cleats. I'll be doing CrossFit next year. So either I'm about to lose a whole bunch of followers or gain more. But, you know, it's, uh, yeah, we'll see what life holds. So I appreciate everybody. And if you're the people who supported me, you're watching thank you again for like the hundredth time and y'all stay tuned appreciate it